Hey everybody, it's Scoots, Drew Scooter from Sleep With Me Podcast. Uh, this is Question Corner. So if you question, if you ever have a question about the podcast, um, I'll try to answer it. Post it wherever you're seeing this video, and I will do my best to answer it. Uh, and today's question, which I just put in there, but now I got to go look at it. It's from Professor Q over on our um, Patreon Discord. Um, when you do your vacation travel episodes, are you constantly taking notes to, on things you see and do? Does it still feel like a vacation? Does, does it feel more like a work business trip? And this has changed a lot over the years, so it's a great question. Um, and in fact, uh, now I try to do things totally separately um, because that way it did not work that Professor Q just pointed out. Uh, it used to be that... Uh, um, what I would try to do is if I was on vacation, I would take copious notes. Um, and it really only worked best. Like I'd have a pocket notebook. Um, and it would only work best if I like really kept copious notes because to fill an hour and like to record like fifth, to have a 50 minute episode take maybe like I'd have to have a lot of material and it would be best if it had like timestamps, what I was eating and details and then Ray or whoever could um, the, use the more details there were, the more um, uh, it, it just worked better. The more than that could be recollections and details and tangents. And so um, that's what I did. I mean, mostly because uh, the podcasts, my life were so closely stacked. Uh, that I wasn't really like, like, uh, I constantly had to be, uh, my work life balance was much worse than it is today. Um, and then at some point, I really started to notice that, yeah, if it wasn't really focused, like, even if it was two or three days of the vacation and keeping those notes, um, like halfway doing it would not work. Like, if I only kept the notes for part of the day or whatever, it'd be too disjointed because I wouldn't remember. If you take notes, there's just something that happens and then you, you're recording more of the day in your head. And so um, it just didn't work. And then it be, and then it's really started to feel like um, detracting from like if I was trying to take a vacation because I'm already working on vacation. Like for me, working 40 hours a week is like a, is being on vacation. So for me, being on vacation um is our i'm already working a bit so it's like um taking the notes and, and then having to pay pay attention to that uh it did take away from the vacation uh which is actually a good thing because then it was like okay like um and it's just a lot easier if i'm alone um to focus on more things or and if i'm alone um to kind of base things around a theme or to build things or be like, okay, what are we looking to do? Um, and you could kind of see this over the past few years. Um, like I've been intentionally, if I'm going on a trip, uh, I don't, I have taken, well, there has been things that really worked. I don't know like what part of me switched. Um, but yeah, I would take trips. There was times in the, middle years of the podcast. So we're talking 2016 to 2020. No, 2016, 2017, where I would take podcast trips. Oh, I guess I would go to a convention and I might go a day or two early. That was mostly it. Or I would fly somewhere and then go visit my parents. And those worked very well for the same thing. Like I wasn't on vacation. And if I got to a, um, I had to get to the conference like a day early or stay a day late, because if I was just going for the conference again, I would be focused on the conference and trying to do other stuff, um, it just, just, just the overlap. It, it's just, hard, it's hard to explain. And again, I know it's impossible to believe, but the amount of um, mental and in some sense, physical work it takes to do stuff for the podcast, to make it sound free and easy, and even just taking notes, it does take an incredible amount of strange labor, but labor nonetheless. And yeah, so I've discovered, and I've been using this recently over the past couple of years, that's why I just went on a tangent about I got distracted. Well, I get, got curious. I'm like, huh, how come I can't just take trips for the podcast where there's not a secondary thing like going to visit my parents or a convention or now 
what I'll do is um, go on vacation and stay late or go early or both. And, and the first time I did that, um, I don't know when it was, but uh, those episodes got released uh, like and that was like a, so it's like being at being somewhere by myself or with Ray um, and knowing we're only there to record shows uh, a few months ago. I just did this. I had um, two and a half days or two days. What was it? I left on Sunday, right? So Sunday evening I left or Sunday afternoon. So I recorded s- did I record Sunday? Yes. Yeah. So Sunday morning I recorded. Uh, Saturday we recorded two shows, and Friday evening we recorded a show. So I recorded four shows, like on location walking shows with Ray. And actually Friday morning we recorded some tests that failed, because um, it's the other thing is like a lot of times you'll do stuff and then it's not usable. Um, and if you're rec- like if you're recording, then you're not taking notes. So then you don't have the notes. Um, and then, yeah. So a couple of years ago, what I found really worked well was like location scouting. Um, and this worked perfect. And it was like, uh, and, and this is the method we're mostly using now, though we don't always location scout. It's more like location risk. We'll take like, so this past trip where I recorded four shows, um, I, I did have the equivalent of probably six shows, but to like a percentage of that time was like, oh, this is just not going to be usable audio. So let's just cut our losses and relocate or um, or take notes. Oh, no. So I did gather material that will be recorded in the studio for a fifth show. Um, yeah. So, wow. In 20, 48 hours, I probably got four shows, the equivalent of one, two, yeah, like five shows, um, not recorded and edited or anything, but like the work that will create five shows or five episodes. Four of those will be Patreon only shows because um, they're on location. And the fifth one will be a public release recorded in in Climbing Closet Studio. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, like location scouting. So this was where we really honed in on what we're doing now for on location episodes, both with Ray and then starting like late this spring and summer, I'll be doing on location walking shows too, where I'm recording myself is um, what we did was we did some location scouting with uh, AirPods uh, where I was recording on my AirPods while we were walking just to see what, it, what, like what that would sound like. And then, um, then we moved to another recording method uh, that I've used that I've put out on Patreon a few episodes. Pro- I think they've, I mean, they do take a lot more work, even when we're trying to do them loosely. Um, I'm trying to make them as minimal editing because the on-location episodes, they're just trying to find a balance so I can keep keep these coming out. And these new this new way of recording, um, uh, it, it's really good because uh, in the past, like on-location episodes, we've either done with a full recording setup, which creates a lot of external attention and means that people are shouting security guards are coming or workers are coming and um and you have to be you can't it's very difficult to have a a recorder and a handheld mic uh and not have hand noise and be moving so then i move sometimes we would try a lav mic but again the lav mics they're omnidirectional um so means they're picking up all the noise which if you're stable and not moving and there's cool ambient noise they're cool but it also creates a lot of editing challenges because it's picking up everything. So there's a lot of stuff you wouldn't hear where we have to record like um, basically something equivalent of room tone, like back ambient background noise to edit in under any cuts we make because there's going to be a lot of cuts every time the mic gets hit or the wind picks up. So the downside of labs, even with a like a wind muff on there, sensitive to wind noise, sensitive to being bounced around in the clothes, hard to monitor, like you're trying to listen to the audio, but you can't necessarily hear that. And then, so again, we found this new method of recording um, using like a, uh, like a ear, these earphone mics, which um, kind of creates a thing where you're getting, you're getting a binaural recording. You're also getting it, you're like centered in Ray's head. 
So you're getting his voice. I mean, the, they can't go out on the main feed because, again, the voice is a little bit um, – it's pretty balanced. Like, there's no way to split the voice out from the background noise. But it's like um, – but it's it's worked really well in um, it, it it makes it in the in there's two options so like I can wear the earphones and just use the mics on their own and they don't pick up a lot of wind noise or I could put them inside of a um what do you call that thing sleep phones I actually take the headphone the speakers out of the sleep phones and I put them in there to act as a wind barrier and then it just I'm just wearing a headband and um and if it's a very windy situation. Um, those have worked and, uh, yeah, we've really been able to get a lot more recording done. Um, but again, yeah, if I, for now, vacation episodes are actually work trip, work, work only. Um, it just hasn't worked in the few, I think even before 20, before the pandemic, um, where it just started to become clear. It's like, well, um, if I'm not going to record the entire, write down notes from the entire day, like there's just some days I was like, you know, I just don't feel like it. Like, uh, like, uh, even though it's not that much work, it's like, um, like documenting every second of my vacation. Um, I guess maybe like a boundary thing, like, uh, and then, but it's also freed up to do themed things. Um, when I say theme things, it's like, oh, let's try to go here. Let, like, um, Hmm, I'm trying to think. Well, anyway, like a, a episode that'll probably come out on Patreon in 2023 uh, is like we went somewhere. We tried to do one thing. Um, our the bus was too wait too long of a wait, so we rented bikes. Ray and I, and we went on a bike ride, and um, so it was like we were able to change things up. Uh, and uh, and then like with me, it's like oh, like can I like try some some hikes in the bay area or stuff like that so um works out much better i guess in the end to answer the question of um vacation episodes are best as a part of a work trip episode um they'd probably be best um as an entire separate trip um i mean then i could write it off like which i haven't really been able to do because usually i'm using my points uh, to book the hotel i'm staying at uh even this the next time I'm planning on doing it, which is in a few months, a few, like a few weeks of like extending a, or this one I'm, Oh yeah. This one I'm extending the end of it. Um, like I was like, Oh, I already paid for, the, wait a second. I'm going to be recording for like those four days or three days. So, um, so yeah, actually, actually, I mean, I guess that's the same as going on a trip. It's just not, uh, this exactly the same, but, um, so yeah, it's like, a. Yeah, I hope that answers the question. I mean, yeah, I'd like to do it more. I guess that is the thing, but like the idea of me going somewhere for myself or for the podcast, just just like really hard for me to emotionally make space for. It just feels selfish, uh, even though it's not. Um, and yeah, in the past, I used to be able to do where I'd reach out to like um, in Orlando, the um, Sea Life Museum and the um, Orlando Eye, let us record there. It, it was two different companies that owned it at two different times. So it's two different public relations companies, but I've just found that like, that's a lot of work and time that I don't have. Um, we just don't have a, like, there's just not a time for it, even with every people that work on the show for it to be a good investment of our time um, to reach out and be like, Hey, could we record at this location? Um, because there's so many unknowns. And then it's like, then we um, like, uh, so I think the method we're using now, which is either recording on location or location scouting and then recording there or trying to record and then giving up, um, or one of the other things I did on this last trip was, yeah, I spent one, um, maybe six or seven hours over, actually it was over two days, um, of like, okay, I, I don't want to spoil the theme, but of like, it's a Ray theme anyway, but it's like, oh, okay this and this so we'll just spend the day doing these and these and collecting notes and taking pictures and stuff like that um so yeah i hope that answers that question and yeah if it uh post your questions here uh question quarter thanks everybody